Hi, this is Beatriz and in this video I'm gonna show you how I edited this picture. If you're interested to see how I took it, make sure to check out the behind the scenes. In order to create this composition, I'm gonna be using a base image that I took without the splash so that the scene would look clean and nice with all the elements placed where I want them to be and I'm gonna be pasting the best splashes into the base image. I like how this splash turned out, so with the help of the lasso tool, I'm gonna create a selection around the splash, copy it and paste it on the base image. Now I'll choose the selection tool so that I can freely move the layer with the splash, I'll decrease a bit the opacity to see where I'm placing it, and I will just resize it, adjust it, rotate it, until I feel that it fits nicely in the cup. That looks about right. Now. I will create a mask so that I can hide this bluish background that appears on the layer with the splash. I will select the brush tool, change the size of the brush, increase the opacity and flow all the way up to 100% and with black color selected, you can start painting on the mask layer following the edges of the splash. You can switch between black and white to reveal or hide areas of the mask by using the X key on your keyboard. Also, make sure that your brush has a hardness of about 100% if you want your mask to have a defined and clear outline. You could also do this by using the pen tool to draw a shape around the splash, then creating a selection for that shape and masking the area outside of the selection. Next, I'm gonna create a hue and saturation layer and clip it to the splash. That way, it will only affect the color of the splash. I'll select Colorize and adjust the hue, saturation and luminance. This way, I'll try to unify the color and get rid of the blue cast that the splash has. Now, I'm gonna emphasize the highlights and shadows of the splash to create volume. So first I'm gonna create a curves adjustment layer for the highlights. I'm gonna clip it to the splash and invert the mask. Then with the help of the brush tool and with white color selected, I will paint on the mask over the areas of the splash where I want the effect of the curves layer to be visible. I will bring the opacity of the brush down to about 40% and I'll start painting. And now I will repeat the same process with the shadows. So I will create a new adjustment layer for the shadows, clip it to the splash, invert the layer and paint with the brush tool and white color selected on the mask over the parts of the splash where I want the shadows to be emphasized. You can always go back to the curves layer and adjust the curve until you're happy with the result. I still want to add a few drops that look a bit bigger from one of the other splash images that I took. So I'm gonna copy and paste it on the new image. I'll group both layers with the splashes so that all the adjustment layers that I've added affect both. And I'll repeat the same process with masking the background and adding volume to these drops. Now, with the patch tool, I'm gonna remove the texture of the chocolate powder that did not completely dissolve in the milk, so that the liquid looks smoother.
Finally, I'm gonna blend all the visible layers into a new layer and duplicate it. What I'm gonna do with these two layers is separate the color and the texture so that I can edit both separately without affecting each other. This is a technique called frequency separation and I'm gonna do this because I want to edit the color only to smooth the liquid even more without affecting the texture that the image already has. First I'm gonna apply a Gaussian blur to the color layer to the point where the texture is no longer visible and then I'm gonna select the top layer which I called texture, go to apply image subtract and I will subtract the color layer with the values that you can see in the screen. Then I'll set the blending mode to linear light and we will have successfully separated texture and color. Finally, I will select the color layer and with the help of the brush and eyedropper tool, I will be sampling colors on different areas of the splash and smoothing the color. If you feel that the color doesn't have a lot of effect, it might be that there's still some roughness in the texture. So you can go to the texture layer and with the patch tool, remove those. I also did a few minor color corrections in Lightroom and this is the final result. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Have a nice day and see you next time.